Hey, all right, so I'm back. Um, I've got a way down to the bottom now. Um, so I could continue with that. Before I do, one of the things that I need is to make a pickaxe that's able to get a few things. So the iron pickaxe would be good for that gold that we saw last time. But uh, right now, I need to make the diamond pickaxe because I'm going to need to get obsidian. So there we go, one diamond pickaxe. Uh, I probably have more stone than I care to carry. I already have 15 gold, so there's no real urgency to get it. Uh, I have redstone. I have some reeds. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Change of plans. We're going to do something slightly different. You remember those sheep? We're heading back over to them. That's right. And let's clean up the path to get there. That'll be good. Okay. So we're going to just head over to where we were. I'm just breaking up a bit of a path to get there. That's very noisy in my earphones, which means it's probably barely heard by you. That's alright. Over here we have cocoa beans, which happily grow on jungle trees. So we'll gather up some of those. Uh, cows. How am I doing on food? Oh, I've got eight cooked. And I'm here, so I might as well... gather a little more. Okay. So this guy, I grabbed his bull from earlier, and he still hasn't grown it back. Some of these other guys have. Now. I think I just stumbled across another cave, and I'm not sure what you're doing. That was mad sheep disease, I guess. All right. This goes nowhere. I did that just, just cause. Never hurts to have wood, so I'll take oak. Now, what I'm doing is I'm coming out, there's a bit of a lake here, and aha, in the distance I see some reeds, as well as some right here. This is good. This is very good. I see a running water. All right. So, my plan here, aside from this cow, Never hurts to have some extra beef. Um, my plan is I'm going to gather up a little bit more uh, of these reeds. Look at that. Interesting. All right. I'm getting off task already. Let's get over here. I'm not even sure what time of the day it is. 
All right. Let's get these and then we'll get back. Reeds can make paper. Paper can make redstone. And that's really what I'm all talking about. But look at all that. Huge old cave. The sun has to be setting. There's no way that it would be that low. I've been running around here all day. So let's just swim. Nice and quiet. No splashing. Isn't this nice? Somebody just ruined the quietness. Go. All right, so nighttime is fast approaching. I want to get back because I don't really want to mess around too much. on us. Yes, I'm using my sword to cut through. Machete style. Oh hell, where is it? Nicely lit up area, should help. You know what I haven't seen? Chickens. I haven't seen any chickens, so therefore I don't have feathers. With no feathers, I can't make surplus of the arrows. So first thing first. Oh, nighty night. Morning. I feel so much better. What do I got? I got six. All right, so I'll put those there. Nine, three, six, nine. Technically, that's, that's going to be enough. Okay. So nine pieces of paper. Grab some of that. Put those away. And redstone. Okay. Redstone in the middle. We make a compass. Very good. Compass in the middle. Surrounded by paper. Huzzah. We made a map. Now we can take a look. All right, so it's a brand new day. So let's just sort of explore a little bit. I think that's the way that I started. Oh, there's a zombie there. Let's go have a little meet and greet. Hello, zombie. The zombie did not last long. So now when I look at my map, it updates a little bit. Okay. Oh, skeleton.
two arrows. I don't think I get any of them. Where am I? Oh, look at that. I'm right there. Now, if you look closely, you see there's a gray dot on the map. Oop, I took it away. I'm so mean. That gray dot should be the temple. I see a torch, so I know I've been here. Take another look at the map. Now I'm covering the gray dot. But you know what? There's the temple. So the map is kind of good in some ways because it'll lead me back to where I need to go. Um, so directly in the center is basically where my tree house, well actually my tree house is a little bit above my crosshair. My crosshair there is on the tree house. So I've explored a little bit. You can see that it's all jungle still. And that's where I started. I remember jumping off that cliff. So, oh, that hurt. There's a bit, uh, well, there you go, Genka. I had another fall. Isn't that what you wanted? So a bit of a waterfall there. It's, have a snack. So, let's just swim across. I see more reeds, so we'll grab those. No, oh, I'm getting my map wet. Doesn't really matter. So, pigs. Yeah, I don't like to eat pork. So the pigs are fine. I would totally eat calamari, but that's not really a possibility. So I took those mostly so I could plant them closer to my base. Honky. Doop doo doop doo doo. All right, so this was a bit of diversion, but a much needed one. It's always good to have a map. You know I eat beef, right? Probably not good to alert me to your presence. And I've got plans for you guys. Check the map. So, okay. Oh, 
Check the map. Right, close to home, I guess. And I am, because there's my home. All right. Let's take these and plant them. So they need to be next to water, and they'll start to grow. To the kitchen, because we have a fair bit of beef. Okay. And I have a fair bit more, actually. Oh. So I'll leave back four. And then I can put in that. Uh, oh, you know what I don't have? The buckets. And they stack now. Before they didn't, and that was a problem. All right, so I've got a bunch of those, a bunch of those, those, those. Paper I don't need to hold on to. I'm going to have to start making more chests soon. Okay. That should be good for now. Now that I have a bucket, I can fill it with water. And that'll make gathering lava a lot safer. So we take our water. Oh, there it goes, it updated. And let's head on down. There's a creeper, okay. Yeah, let's just continue on down. There's my gold, which we should take. That's a nice seam of gold. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't need to go that way. I can go this way. Which got me down. Oh, no, this was the dead end, wasn't it? That's right. What did I do? Oh, I took the water down, didn't I? That's how I got to obsidian. Alright, what am I looking at? I could get punched. Anybody? Well, I hear them. All right, first things first. Pour some water over the lava. Nice. Somebody just dropped behind me, and I managed to not get killed somehow. Oh, I'm nervous. I just hear them. Oh, there you are. I do have four arrows. Back of the head. Okay. At least it's a bit quieter now. Now that I have the right tools for the job, I can just clean this up a little. Okay. 
so they're just hanging out up top there. That's fine. Alright, let's come back down to where my lava is. And let's just make a mess of water. Now it's time for this. Oh, this is so noisy. Alright. So, I need to gather a fair bit of this stuff, and it's going to take a little while. Um, I'll need ten to make a portal to get to the nether. I'll need another four if I want to make an enchantment table. That's fourteen. I'll need another ten to get out of the nether. So that's 24. So that's going to take a bit. So rather than sit here and try to talk over all this water, I'm going to stop here and uh, I'll record what I have. And uh, I'll probably just clean up some of this obsidian. And uh, the next episode, I'll have that and we'll be ready. Okay.